marked differences. Um, Dad was always a very hard worker in Kenya. Um, we didn't see Dad very often. Um, he woke up early. Um, as a youngster, he uh, would um, say his prayers. He'd go out for a five-mile run every day, uh, go to work, and we wouldn't see him till late at night. We, no we were normally asleep at that stage. Um, Mum stayed at home, uh, picked us and dropped us and took us wherever we needed to go. She had quite a, a cushy lifestyle there. When we moved to, to England, uh, we had to essentially start afresh. Um, Dad had to re-qualify as a lawyer because they wouldn't accept his qualifications, even though he trained uh, in Lincoln's Inn in London uh, to become a barrister. So he had to then re-qualify and become a student again. Mom, for the first time in her life, had to go out to work and she earned the princely sum of 50 pounds a week. She worked in a company, uh, you may have heard of it, Shoal. They, they used to make those wooden clogs. And she worked in a factory. And uh, she used to tell us that it was um, a trying time in the 70s. Um, people couldn't even pronounce Indian names, let alone having seen people who were uh, of our visibly different appearance. Uh, and as a result, they couldn't even say Mohinda and they ended up calling her Linda. Uh, and that was a name that stuck with her when she was at work. Uh, and um, times have now changed that uh, people uh, now can pronounce uh, Indian names with, with aplomb. Uh, she went to work at uh, five or six o'clock in the morning and returned uh, late in the, in the evening. Uh, and uh, we were essentially babysat by our grandmother. Um, and um, it was a, a totally different lifestyle for her. She wasn't used to um, doing the cooking and the cleaning herself. Uh, she had uh, domestic assistance when she was in Kenya. In England, you had to do everything yourself, which was totally different and alien to her. Um, but you have to integrate into the, into the society that you live in. Uh, and we had to all do our bit and, uh, and live where we did. Uh, we lived in a, there were five of us in, in total. Uh, my uh, two sisters, myself, mum and dad. Uh, mum and dad used to sleep in the kitchen. Uh, and... Uh, uh, there were hard times um, because uh, we were in a country which was alien to us. Uh, the only person we knew were uh, our grandmother and uh, our, uh, our uncles. Uh, and um, all our friends uh, and our relatives were back home in, in Kenya. But as time went on, uh, all Dad's family emigrated from from Kenya, those who were in Uganda were expelled uh, under the uh, regime of Idi Amin and they all moved to, to England. So all of uh, dad's and mum's family uh, were based in England. So I think uh, a root and branch uh, migration occurred uh, from Kenya uh, to England.